So Christopher starts off brushing his teeth on his own. He uses a non-fluoridated toothpaste or water. Hi, my name is Carrington and I'm going to brush my teeth. So I come behind Carrington and I put my hand underneath her chin and leverage her head against my body to give me some stability as I'm brushing and so her head won't go every which way like a rag doll. I'm able to brush the chewing surfaces of her teeth, the outside, the inside. Sometimes her mouth will become tight as I'm brushing and so I'll use my finger to push her lips out of the way to make sure that I'm getting her teeth um, and her gums nice and clean. I'll brush the roof of the mouth, the cheeks, have them spit and come back and brush the tongue. The bacteria is getting everywhere. We gotta make sure that we're brushing all those soft tissues as well as the hard tissues of the teeth. Rinsing with water, and then they'll rinse and spit again. Christopher is four years old, Carrington is five years old, so they've had uh, some good practice with being able to spit and rinse and spit. So they both use a pea-sized amount of fluoride. I'm gonna demonstrate how to brush an infant's teeth with this baby doll. I use my hand to hold the hand of the baby and push the baby against my body, once again for stability. An infant is not going to hold still for you. They will get used to it, it will become the new normal. Just like with every child, some days are good days, some days you have to fight a little bit more, but it's worth fighting to brush every morning and every night than to fight to have to get cavities fixed. You brush their teeth with a smear of fluoride toothpaste get their teeth, get their gums, once again, they will get used to it. Um, this is a great practice to start as soon as you see teeth. We are gonna floss our teeth. We use the floss picks for them because of the size. Their mouth is tiny, it's really hard to get in there with floss. I will get in there um, a few days a week to work the regular floss, but they are very used to being able to floss um, on their own. And then I come back behind with a new one because it gets all messed up with them. Um, I come back and I'll floss a couple of teeth. I'll rinse off the floss. I'll check and make sure it's not shredded. If it is shredded or becomes too loose, I will change out and get another floss pick um, to clean the rest of the teeth. So we do a few. We rinse off the food and bacteria. You're not able to switch it out like you would be in regular floss. Um, so it's a little bit different in that regards, as well as the elasticity too. So if it starts to get too loose and saggy, I would recommend to switch it out um, for another floss pick. We do brush for two minutes every morning and every night and floss at nighttime before going to bed to ensure that all is cleaned out from their teeth and uh, it will be the last thing that they do um, before bedtime. Thanks so much.